Hello, this is James Couture from West Seattle High School. I'm going to try and make a video here about how to log into the Schoology app on an Android phone. So I've already downloaded the app from uh, Google Play Store. Just type in Schoology, it shows up and has this little black S thing. And then it's already installed, so I'm just going to open it here. When you open it, you get this screen. It has two options, email login and username login. You want the username login. And when you click that, it brings up this screen, which allows school, username, password. In this case, you want the school, because that is the uh, important part to start with. So you just type in the name of your school. In my case, it's West Seattle High School. And once you're done typing in the name of your school, West Seattle High School, uh, it will bring up a list of possible versions of that school for Schoology. And this is kind of a mess because we still have the test one on from when they first set this up. And then there's another one that doesn't do anything. But this third one, for some reason, which has a green arrow on it, the one that says 266776868 is the one that works. And so try whichever one works. On mine, it's the 266776868. That's probably just it. Click that, and it will kick you to a different screen. And that new screen, which is a Microsoft screen, I'm not sure if Microsoft owns Schoology or what, you enter your password, and your password for uh, my students at West Seattle High School will be their username that they log onto the computers with, plus at Seattle Schools, Ooh, Seattle Schools dot o r g. So it's my case. My username doesn't have the W S T underscore, but students will. So J. Uh, your username at seattleschools.org, dot org, not anything else. And then when you try and put your password in, it'll kick you to another screen. The password you're using is the same one you use to get onto the computers at school, so that part's easy. So you already have your password. So you have your username in, and now we're on the Seattle Public School site, so we're about to actually get where we want to go. So you type in your password, and then you click sign in. And at that point, and that password again was the one you used to sign into the school computers and your login uh, email address is your normal school login plus at seattleschools.org. And then after a second here, it should open up my recent activity, which is kind of boring. Hey, Nick, you must have done something. Over here on the top left, there's these three little dashy things. If you click on those, it opens up the uh, stuff you can look at. Most students will just want to look at courses and then they can see their various courses. In this case, these are the courses I teach. So, you know, you can click on any of the courses you want to see and it will open that up after a little how to use the thing screen and you can see the various stuff you might need take some quizzes uh, read how to's whatever it is your teacher has set up for you you can see it on this screen so hopefully that will explain how to get schoology onto your phone and you can start using it there in addition to computers or wherever else you want hope that helped thanks bye